Okay, ladies, get into the look. This here is my girl, Alexis. She's a long, straight, glueless, 13 by 6, invisible lace front wig. She's absolutely gorgeous, and she comes ready to go as a pre-everything wig. I'm going to show you how I install her. Super easy and for beginners. As you guys can see, that not only is she a beautiful, beginner-friendly install, she's definitely one that will be a classic, timeless, all seasons, very easy, ready-to-go install, very easy, ready-to-go gorgeous 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 addition to your collection if you're interested in seeing how we got this install and this silk press keep on watching jumping right into it this is what came in my package they included this really cute pink option she's pretty much a portable wig head you can keep her in your bathroom or your luggage and she's perfect for glueless wigs so that you have somewhere to put your wig at night when you're not wearing her and this is our gorgeous wig straight out of the box they also included some really nice goodies that i'll show you towards the end of the video this here is a pre everything wig she's a 13 by 6 pre-cut lace pre parted pre literally everything the knots are bleached even that little lace piece in the back has a nice scallop cut to match the front this is going to make for a very easy effortless glueless install this here is an adjustable elastic band bearing the my first wig logo i'm going to go ahead and adjust mine to my my own comfort zone and apply it to the back of my head this is what it should look like and then from here we'll put the rest of the wig on and this is what we are working with today so i am pleased to announce that this one is 100 percent glueless you definitely will be able to get ready on a day-to-day -day basis with no fuss again this is something that is amazing for beginners or just lazy wig wearers like myself who just like to get ready in five minutes as i have three little ones to get ready as well here i'm sure you guys the hairline absolutely pre-plugged to perfection again a no work needed situation and i'm also going to show you guys the sideburns or ear tabs these can be cut off for 100 percent glueless fit i'll show you what i'm going to do with mine a little bit later this is also what she looks like as a side part for specs this is an invisible air lace hd swiss lace wig i'm going to heat up my hot tools to the highest heat settings and apply my wax stick from care care this is going to cancel out any frizz and i allow me to make the wig as flat as possible i'm going to work that product in and then work on the dynamic duo which is what i like to call my wax and my hot comb together this is an amazing combination for even your glueless ready to go wigs it kind of will turn it up a notch customizing it to really mold and fit the flatness of your own head i'm going to do this on both sides getting rid of any lumps or bumps and then it pretty much will be good to go if i did not mention this one is 20 inches in length the extra deep plugged hairline is perfect for those of us who really really like to have that extended parting space now that we've got that out of the way this is what we are working with and as you guys can see it's a subtle but mighty difference it definitely will have your wig looking super nice so even on the days when you wake up and you just throw her on and go and the ends may be frazzled as long as that top piece is super flat and molded to your head it definitely makes a huge difference in making your wig still look good on an everyday basis with an easy maintenance. Now here I'm just customizing my wig to fit my head, pulling forward the sideburn pieces and kind of just cutting off any excess lace that may cover my ears. And then I'm gonna repeat that dynamic duo step, allowing that wax stick to be applied generously along the hairline and on top of that sideburn base. And then going in with that electric hot comb to really, really melt the hairline really well. Especially if you're doing a, a glueless install, this is gonna be a key step in making sure everything still looks super flat and plugged and frizz free. I'm gonna also go ahead and tame my own natural sideburns. Having a flat install and flat out of the way sideburns definitely is gonna give your hairline a very good, nice, flat, flawless, seamless appearance. I'm gonna repeat every step that I do on the first side, on the opposite side, making sure that everything is perfect. Now that we're ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and just bond down the ear tabs. And you hear me talk about this a lot. When it comes to glueless wigs, if you include that ear tab, a lot of the times the thing is you will have to melt the ear tab, even if the remainder of the wig does fit glueless. Now, of course, I had an option to cut this piece off, but today I definitely wanted the sideburns to stay. And so I went ahead and just applied a little bit of a extra hold hairspray along the sideburn area. And then I applied the blow dryer on a 
a high heat setting and then on a cool setting and then on a high heat setting and kind of going back and forth tandem until it got really dry you'll know when it's dry when your lace starts to feel a little bit tight and not tight in a painful way but it almost like it will suction to your head and feel like it is like installed if that makes any sense so you guys can see here the hairline is super natural the sideburns are bonded down with a glueless adhesive but the remainder of the lace will remain 100% glueless no gel no spray or anything at all now that we are bonded down on the sideburns you can literally add your lace tint and you are good to go this here is the ruby kisses foundation i believe this one is a mineral foundation in the shade 15. i apply that and really pack it in generously because this is a not permanent at all solution it will you know fade over time so you will find yourself every few days going in to touch this up you can definitely do something else if you want a more permanent option but i almost like the having the option to go in and you know fix it up touch it up and perfect it throughout the week here i'm showing you guys that we are remaining 100 percent glueless the only thing applied to the lace is that lace tint for color and now again you can see how flat that parting is i'm just going to turn it up a notch a little bit more by adding the milk belt along the hairline and again because we are going glueless this step is just going to help it to look even more melted like we did glue it down here i'm showing you the length of the hair i did go in with a little bit of a heat protectant what i liked about this one and what i was trying to show you guys in the last clip is that this one has a little bit of i was gonna say synthetic not synthetic at all it has a little bit of static static to me means healthy hair because i remember growing up my mom would get my hair squeaky clean and when she did my blowout i would have so much static and Again, it's just nostalgia because nowadays when you do your hair, you don't get static because you're not cleaning your hair like your mama used to clean your hair. Here I am taking nice medium to small size sections and really just going in and silk pressing the hair out. Now, I personally like to go in and silk press, especially on that first day. This is a key step where you use the flat iron of your choice on a high heat setting and you pretty much chase a rat tail comb with the flat iron, whereas the rat tail of the comb is really going in and like separating and straightening each strand of hair and then the flat iron is going behind it literally chasing it to make those separated pieces super bone straight this is how you get the most flawless and silky option or result and it definitely doesn't take a lot of work it's actually easier especially because a lot of the times your hair will hold heat so it prevents you from having to touch the hair as well so that you don't you know burn your hands and as you guys can see it has a beautiful sheen and again it still has that like nice flow feet bouncy look even though we did add a little bit of heat protectant I also want to remind you guys that there are different options for this wig if you if you click the link in the description box mine is a 13 by 6 130 percent density you can also get it as 180 percent density or even better you can get it as a full lace wig you can also add the option to have yours dyed jet black if you're into the jet black color you can have silky or yakky texture um you can change your size the size of your cap and the list goes on of things that you can customize when it comes to your wig so be mindful of that if there's something that you like about my wig you can definitely click the link in the description box and again change whatever you like including the length to really fit your needs now that we are done pressing it out on both sides i'm just going in and hitting it one more time with with that electric hot comb and again i'm just kind of like baby in mind this step wasn't necessary but again you know how we are we like to just keep playing with our hair and prepping with our hair until we get it exactly how we like it here i am showing you guys the hair from the back and i did add a little bit of serum for an extra shine on top here I was pretty much done but just trying to find different things that I could do to perfect my wig I did thin out those sideburns but I did not want to kind of do like a baby hair look I really just wanted to keep them a little bit shorter so you see I trimmed them shorter and just added a little bit of bump the bump will fall almost immediately but I kind of like the little pressed out sideburn look here I am showing you guys what was included in the package you did get your pink dust bag which is really cute you also got a pack of wig caps and a nice chocolate brown here is the info card in it gives you all the specs on the wig that i have here and then you also get the magazine for my first wig which is really really cute and then you also get this zip pouch which is reusable and it's super cute and it has the my first wig logo on it when you open it up it does have a few goodies inside including your 
alligator clips as well as your rat tail comb that does say my first wig on top and that is pretty much it i love the way this one came out it's very nice light natural this is going to be nice and fun especially for the high heat weather when you want long hair but you don't want it super heavy and down your back if you're interested in my look you can get it by clicking the link in the description box all the details on mine are down there as well thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video and share with your friends and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.